guys, Di here from the Messy Palette. Welcome back to my channel. I have, um, I'm going to do a flip through of the um, Emerald Romance uh, Art Deco lap book that we've made for Papier Tray Chic. Um, so we have, I said made it, I have made a lap book. I have glued these peacock feathers um, onto the back of this disc um, these ones onto the cover and I have used a triple thick for the gloss and stickles for the decoration so this is a 3D piece um, made by uh, Memory Maze here in Queensland thanks Sally um, you can look up her website and see who her, she's a wholesaler so you can only buy from her stockists she has these she also does some beautiful um, chipboard and uh, wood chip um, decorations embellishments um, and all that sort of thing um, so on the spine we have a um, draw pull with a tag it's on a lobster claw so it comes off so you can open the book up without damaging it I've used chain some little leaf charms some faceted beads feathers and I've stuck some bling on those feathers and I've used little um, necklace ends to um, hold on to the feathers and a little tassel made of chains and um, Oh my goodness, my words are not working. Um, bead caps. So I'll pop that over to the side. Um, on the back, I've got this big butterfly from the kit. Um, I've used stickles and popped a gem on there. There's a playing card and a little journaling card popped in there. Um, the, both the journals inside the book are on elastic so you can take them out for easy writing. I've used this metal closure. Uh, as I said, we've got two journals, one on this side, one on this side. Uh, the book is covered in this beautiful crushed velvet. And the inside is a uh, flocked um, cardstock, which is just gorgeous. Um, this one, we've got uh, some stick-on trim, little pearl trim with the diamantes inside. This little filigree butterfly, metal butterfly, has got a gem. The paper has got um, stickles. This sticks to this magnet under this leaf, which holds that closed. Some beautiful trim. There's an envelope here that is just a piece of writing paper that I've inked and cut down. That sticks in there. Some washi tape. Some trim. Some stickles. Um, don't know why that's there. That's a bonus paper clamp. Um, I have this envelope I've left open. If you want to, you can stick it together or just use it as a writing spot with some stickles on there. This kit is huge. I've got loads and loads and loads of leftover paper. I have printed um, lace coffee dyed paper onto the back of these. Um, and the rest of the paper in here is my own coffee and tea stain paper. Another one. I've used this um, embroidered um, applique peacock feather this is a book corner and I've left it open as a tuck spot so I've got a little journaling card and a tag in there some beautiful images of ladies 
on here over the page we have an envelope with a tag inside they come as a set in the kit held in with a paper clip with some gold rickrack um, this is just a beautiful paper coffee dyed paper corner pocket with a tag from the kit and this is a tag I've just made from some scrapbook paper I had which is gold embossed paper with some gold ribbon and uh, stamped on the back of that um, some washi tape um, stickles and a gold uh, gold and a green gem uh, corner pocket um, with a journaling card and a tag from the kit this is some vintage um, eyelet trim from my coffee dyed paper and coffee dyed doily more coffee dyed paper so there's loads of writing space in here I've just stuck this tag on for decoration on this little flip out bit uh, another part of that coffee dyed lace doily coffee dyed paper another one of those uh, tags and I've got some linen here with um, uh, some stamping on it and stamping on the back oh, coffee dyed paper it's from the kit she's gorgeous isn't she the cutest fairy um, this is some uh, vintage lace that I have coffee stained and I've stuck it on this green velvet that's a decoration um, little corner pocket and this gorgeous trim I wish I could find more of that this trim that I've used in this book I'm on the last of and if anybody knows where I can find it I've been searching so it's this trim a um, couple of postcards and a journaling card from the kit I'll show you the rest of those trims that I'm trying to find anybody sees it leave a comment below and I will go and get it because it's my favorite I use it all the time and I'm running out um, coffee dyed paper corner pocket a couple of journaling cards and that's the end of the first journal and behind that is this little pocket with card that I can't get out because I didn't put a pulley thing on it okay so there's a tag in there and I'm going to put something on there to help Pull that out let's put some glossy accents on there I've left it open so you can use it as a tuck spot if you wish um, feather some sparkly washi tape some sparkly rickrack and a gem this lifts up there's just some writing space there make sure I'm back in frame um, another pocket with a journaling card left that open so you can stick another card in there if you wish um, it's another envelope that I it comes in the kit I've left it open again for writing space but you can glue it up if you want to if you buy this journal which is for sale you can message me below or on my Facebook page which I will leave a link for below I have made this pocket it is an expandable pocket there is going to be a heap of stuff left in there this is an earring from a um, piece of broken jewelry piece of broken earrings <laughs> 
that just looked like a peacock feather so I've used that as a closure on a brad um, so yes this pocket is huge and I will fill that up with leftovers from the kit so that you can use it for anything you'd like so that is actually on a hinge so you can get it out of the way with this beautiful parrot on the back that is it that is my journal so there's still 20% off I'll leave a code in the description box below a link to the kit as well um, so pop on over to Papier Tray Chic and have a look at her gorgeous kits over there. They are huge. They are massive. I've got enough left over, as I said, to probably make about 10, 10 more journals. So well worth the money. Well worth it. Thanks, Sandy, for asking me to do this for you. I had a great load of fun making this journal. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, so, yes, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. We're going to be making some Greenwich notebooks and journals. So, stay tuned for that one. Catch you soon. Thanks for watching.